हाय बच्चों लेट्स डू अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम टुडे एंड एज आई हैव डिस्कस्ड इन द अर्लियर लेक्चर आई विल यूज द सेम कॉन्सेप्ट लेट्स टेक एग्जांपल वन इन दिस एग्जांपल आई विल टेक अ स्टिक ऑफ मास एम एंड लेंथ एल व्हिच इज पिवटेड एट दिस पॉइंट ओ सो लेट्स कॉल दिस पॉइंट ओ और इसका मास इज एम एंड द लेंथ इज एल एंड द एंगल व्हिच इज मेकिंग विद द हॉरिजॉन्टल इज थीटा सो लेट्स टेक दिस जनरल केस now if it is falling we have to calculate the angular acceleration alpha when it is falling just released from this particular position and starts to fall so we have to find this angular acceleration alpha now this particular case becomes very simple and you can simply say that torque about this point o will be equal to i about this point o into alpha and you can get the answer and this is almost like a j main question so you don't have to even think and you can simply apply so the answer will be easy and it will be equal to mg which is the force which is producing this torque into the perpendicular distance or i can take uh, the component of mg if this is theta this is 90 minus theta this angle is theta so mg cos of theta into this perpendicular distance which is l by 2 will be equal to i not into alpha and i not in this particular case will be equal to m l square by 3 into alpha so m m gets cancelled l and l gets cancelled and alpha is equal to 3 by 2 g cos theta upon l so i can simply write down alpha is equal to 3 g cos theta upon 2 l and this is the answer so you don't have to actually put lot of brain if you know the standard formula you can directly calculate alpha now convert this let's convert this question into a interesting one so what we will do is in the next example i will not make it pivot so let's make it a frictionless table let's put the same stick on a frictionless table and same condition and now release it from rest mass is m length is l and we are releasing it from rest so there are two questions which can be asked one is a normal reaction the other one is calculate the alpha for this particular case now how will we approach the interesting thing is and i will tell you two methods again here as i have told you in earlier uh, questions as well this point is accelerating so this point is accelerating and therefore you cannot apply torque about this point because this is accelerating you cannot apply torque directly about this point so the standard method is if i have to calculate mg is in this particular direction let us assume the acceleration of the center of mass in the y direction is ay and it is rotating with alpha some alpha and i will find the torque about this point which is the center and let's call it center c so torque about the center and another force will be the normal reaction so these are the forces and the acceleration diagram so torque about the center will be equal to i cm alpha so this will be the torque about this particular center of mass and the other so let me calculate this ml square by 12 into alpha this is and torque due to n about this point so uh let's take this component of torque this is theta 90 minus theta this angle is theta so n cos theta into l by 2 is equal to ml square by 12 into alpha and i can calculate about the center of mass so this equation actually uh, l l gets cancelled and i can actually get 2 6 and n will be equal to ml alpha by 6 cos of theta so we get this as n but alpha is unknown here so let's try to find out alpha now to find out alpha we'll also write down the force equation force equation says that mg in the downward direction minus n is equal to m into ay okay so this is the force equation and now we have one variable two variable 
and three variable only two equations so obviously we'll have to find the relationship between ay and alpha uh, what is the relationship so ay is a function of alpha we have to find this relationship so what interesting thing i have derived it in one of my previous video you can watch that uh, using the center of mass but here i will tell you an easy method that this point is not moving vertically initially so obviously the acceleration in this particular direction of this point is because it is initially at rest so acceleration in this direction is zero otherwise you should derive it using center of mass and watch that but uh, in general i will just tell you this is just a hack so l by 2 alpha is in this direction of this point and a y is in this particular direction this angle is given to you as theta so this is also theta and i can say from here vertical component will be at rest and a y will be equal to l by 2 into cos of theta into alpha so this is the relationship and now we have three variable and three equations and we can easily solve it so let's uh, we have to find alpha so let's substitute n over here mg minus m l alpha by 6 cos of theta is equal to m into a y and a y is l by 2 cos theta into alpha alpha so from here i will get mg is equal to m l alpha by 6 cos theta plus m l alpha cos theta by 2 so solving it i will get uh, 6 cos theta and here it will be m l alpha plus uh, i have m l alpha plus 3 into cos of cos square theta because i will multiply 3 cos theta into this and uh, this into m l alpha so 3 cos square theta m l alpha so this gives me alpha is equal to 6 mg cos of theta upon i will get m l common 1 plus 3 cos square theta so this is the answer so it will be 6 g cos theta by l 1 plus 3 cos square theta and i can relate this equation with the first previous one this 3 g cos theta by 2 l let's see how it is related so if i have to earlier we got this answer as alpha was equal to 3 by 2 g cos theta by l this was the answer in the first case in the second case if i have to put this 3 by 2 g cos theta upon l if i have to actually put that so what it will become 3 g cos theta by 3 by 2 so it will become obviously i have to divide it by 1 by i have to divide it by something 1 by 4 plus let's see exactly um, i will multiply it by 2 by 3 and uh, because 3 by 2 I have multiplied 6 is there already mm, you can do it and it will come out to be something like 1 by 4 3 by 4 cos square theta so let's see 4 upar chala gaya to 2 se 2 multiply ho gaya ye aa gaya Okay. so this form mein aa so exactly if you see uh, so what the relation is that there was this component in the first case when it was pivoted and there is an additional component about which it is divided because of the acceleration of the bottom point okay and you can find the end condition when you put theta is equal to zero when you put theta is equal to 90 degree you should find out these kind of relationship to be comfortable about the answer okay now another interesting method of solving this question if you are interested then go ahead and uh, use this method which i have told you earlier that torque about any point p will be equal to i cm i center of mass alpha plus summation of m center of mass acceleration into d okay so this is the uh, equation which i have taught you earlier if some point is accelerating and if you have to find the acceleration about this point 
Interestingly, in this particular question, I can solve it in very, very easy steps. If I use some trick. So let's say this is N and there is MG. And this is a very interesting method. So watch uh, this particular method and you will get a lot of confidence. And if I have to put the acceleration, this point's acceleration is some, let's say, AX. So obviously these, this center will be accelerating with MAX. So yeah, the, the net force is MAX because of this acceleration. And there will be, if I have already told you that in, um, in case of circular motion or in case of any curvilinear motion, we should put acceleration in tangential and radial direction. So there will be MAT and because initially velocity is zero, so there is no radial acceleration initially. So these are the two, uh, these are the forces at the center. If I choose this as some point, right, where normal is, where there is a normal and this force is also uh, joining at this particular point and if i find out torque about let's say i call this point as p so torque about this p will be only due to mg and mat and we know at is nothing but ml by 2 into alpha only because of these two so what it will become see it, it is very interesting i will write on torque due to p is icm alpha ml square by 12 into alpha plus uh, it will be equal to m l by 2 into alpha so basically m l by 2 into alpha and that into the perpendicular distance so first i will take this component so if this is theta this is also theta so it is this cos of theta multiplied by this component into this perpendicular component and this perpendicular length is this is l by 2 and uh, this is theta this is theta and therefore this is l by 2 cos theta so multiplied by l by 2 cos of theta so and this torque will be equal to about that point mg multiplied by l by 2 cos of theta so this is the torque due to mg about this point will be equal to icom plus acceleration of the center of mass into the perpendicular distance uh, and this due to this force there will be zero torque because it is passing through p point and due to this normal reaction again it will be zero because it is passing through this point so careful choice of a point which is inertial this is inertial point because this is not accelerating i can apply this formula because this formula is can be applied anywhere so now See, by single equation, I will get the answer. MgL by 2 cos theta is equal to ML square by 12 into alpha. Here, I will get uh, equal to, um, I will get ML square by 4 cos square theta into alpha and, 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 and alpha is equal to mg l by 2 cos of theta divided by m l square and it will be 1 by 12 plus 1 by 4 cos square theta so this is the answer and you see m say m gets cancelled l say l gets cancelled and alpha will be equal to if i actually take the component uh, like earlier multiply it by 3 so it will be 3 by 2 g cos theta by l l goes up and because i will multiply 3 downstairs also so basically it will be uh, in the denominator also and it will be equal to uh, if i multiply 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4 cos square theta so see this method is very very convenient because you can apply this and in a single step you can solve this question and lot of similar questions so if you are confident give, give me a thumbs up and just keep watching this before your advance and even those who are preparing in 12th you can watch this because this is very interesting and something which you might have not learned at your coaching institute or some places where because of time constraint we don't teach these methods in regular classroom so all the very best for your day advance and all the best who are in 11th and 12th if you are watching this video.
see you soon subscribe the channel and uh, give me a thumbs up and give me your feedback uh, in the comment section thanks